from locations beyond the equator, you'll absolutely see the sun's size change. And that could never ever happen if the sun was 93 million miles away. You wouldn't see the sun change at all. Our eyes cannot see farther than what they were designed to see, but that is no reason to keep them closed. There's also an effect that occurs under certain conditions called atmospheric lensing, where the sheer amount of atmosphere, as well as the rain between you and the sun, acts like a lens and a prism, magnifying it greatly, which leads to another observational proof that the sun setting is an optical effect. At such times, when the sun is setting over the sea, and it seems as though it's half hidden by the horizon, then you can zoom in with a high-powered zoom camera and see that it's actually still above the horizon. It's just an optical illusion. Pay attention to the sun rays here. This alone proves our local sun, and so do these shadows. So what about the moon? We all witness the moon only illuminating the local clouds around it. That is because it is also a local light, but one with opposite effects from the sun. As we can all agree, shade from the sun is cooler than direct sunlight. But did you know the moon's shade is actually warmer than direct moonlight? The moon produces cold light, something the science priests must have forgotten to teach us all about in school. Not only that, but at times we can see stars through the moon proving it is not some solid rock 238,900 miles away. In the 60s, true science regarding the moon was the shadow band topic of its era. I must consider myself to be an ordinary humble person who wants to serve mankind with what we, man has striven for 